Determining Gravitational Constant English scientist Henry Cavendish in 1798 was the first one who experimentally determined the value of universal gravitational constant G. In Cavendish's experimental setup, two equal small lead spheres A and B, each of mass M, are attached at the ends of the bar AB of length L. The bar AB is suspended from the ceiling. Large spheres S1 and S2 are brought close to the small masses M at A and B from the opposite sides. The larger spheres S1 and S2 attract smaller spheres A and B by equal and opposite gravitational force. It gives rise to gravitational torque F into L which in turn twists the suspended wire through some angle theta. However, a restoring torque of the wire also comes into play, which opposes the twisting of wire from its equilibrium position. Mathematically, tau into theta is equal to F into L. On solving it, we can calculate the gravitational constant as G is equal to tau theta D square upon M M L where D is the distance between the centers of neighboring small spheres and large spheres. Presently accepted value of G is G is equal to 6.67 into 10 raised to the power negative 11 N M square over K 